What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 and another quick guide. Today we're going to be talking about the Mystic and more importantly the Mystic buffs. So those icons that are listed up in the top left under the nameplate there shows the available buffs that the Mystic have and a lot of people are always asking me exactly what all these buffs do. Now first off if we back right on out to the character creation screen we're going to see that for the Mystic, instead of using mana, she must appease the Serpent God by sacrificing the souls of fallen enemies to gain powerful buffs that can increase her stats, heal her on hit, and reduce her cooldowns. Now, when you're running around the, in the tavern, you're always going to be at 50% appeasement, as, you know, if you use your abilities, the appeasement doesn't go away. So in light of that, you are at the 50% appeasement set of buffs. Now, the very first one is the cooldown reduction. Uh, that's the hourglass looking symbol. The very next one, the three arrows pointed upward, is the stat increase. And then the third is the lifesteal. Now, the lifesteal is very small on my Mystic. Uh, it's healing me for like seven to 800 per melee hit. So it's a tiny, tiny little lifesteal, but it's a free heal, so I'm certainly not complaining. Now, how these buffs come in is based off of your appeasement level, as I mentioned. You can't test that on the tavern. So the only way to show the buffs coming in versus the appeasement level is to head on over to a map and drop yourself all the way down to zero appeasement. Now we see at zero appeasement, we have a debuff there, which is actually causing damage to us. Uh, that, of course, unless you're using the tempered anger shard in the chest, which makes the Mystic lose appeasement 40% slower and takes no damage at zero appeasement. Now, as soon as we get any appeasement at all, just one appeasement, we're going to get a stat buff. Now we see this arrow is just one and not the three arrows pointed up. And this is actually a slightly over 9% increase in stats for the Mystic. Now, as we go up to 25% appeasement, we see we kept that single arrow but then we gain the cooldown reduction and the lifesteal. And then once we get to 50% appeasement, we're going to get the three upward arrows and we'll have the maximum stat increase. Now the stat increase can most easily be seen if you throw down defense. So let's throw down the Sand Viper for example here. Uh, as we see the red damage number on it, we're doing 129,000 per attack. If we switch over to another hero, we're going to see that's going to drop down to 108,000. Switch back over to the Mystic, and we jump right back up to 129. Now this is based off of 50% appeasement, and I'm getting the maximum stat buff. Uh, the maximum stat buff, of course, is just barely over 19%. So we're getting essentially a 19% increase to any of the damage that the Mystic's towers are doing while the Mystic is out. And to me, that is just a huge, huge reason to play the Mystic and use the Mystic Towers. Now, when, of course, when you get all the way up to full appeasement, we see that one's the most obvious. You get the big snake. You are running at an increased run speed, plus your obelisk, if you're using it, turns into a big snaky flamethrower. And that's only going to happen, of course, at 100% appeasement. Now, based off of all this, it, it becomes kind of questionable whether or not you should put any ascension into the max appeasement. Um, of course, it's easier to keep the appeasement full if the max appeasement is a lower number. So I personally am not throwing anything into max appeasement right at the moment on my Mystic. So I hope this helps answer everyone's questions on what the Mystic's buffs are. Uh, please click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, as most of you know, I am a big fan of DD2 and there will always be much more DD2 coming. So if you're a fan of the game, this is indeed the place you want to be. So thank you once again, and I'll see you next time.